Today, as you may have guessed from all the bright colors, we're going blackout, but in my bag. But before we check out the gear, this episode is sponsored by Skillshare. I'll be sharing one of my favorite classes later on in the video, but with the first link down below, they're giving you two months of Skillshare premium for free. So let's check it out. Starting with my black belt bag of choice, this is the Black Ember Citadel Minimal Pack. True to its name, its all black stealthy design gives it a simple and clean aesthetic. But it packs their 800 denier 3 layer micro hex in what they call a deep black. Which essentially means this bag is really, really waterproof. And for a blackout theme, this bag fits the bill. Now checking out the gear though, starting with some apparel, this is the Riot Division Packable Cap. Made of a really lightweight nylon, it's great for head sweaters like myself. It's got a few distinct features aside from the all black glory that makes it really useful. Although it's quite thin, it's built well and doesn't feel like a cheap piece of clothing, which is important when it's so light. The front side of the cap has a Velcro detachable patch area. It's removable and swappable with anything you see fit, but it's totally usable without one too. The real magic is in the brim though. Not only is it less useful because it's flat and cut off, but like fashion. Am I right? The geometric shape allows you to origami it into this, a tiny little package that fits into the palm of your hands. And even more conveniently, inside your pockets when you're done looking like a train conductor from the future or something. Next up, unlocking the magnetic chest strap because why not magnets? The front of the bag has its only exterior quick access pocket that of course is also water sealed. I've got the Bellroy card pocket in a gorgeous black leather finish. It looks premium, it feels premium, and that's because it damn well is premium. The soft leather, clean detailing around the wallet, and even the metal Bellroy emblem on the front emphasizes the thought that went into this whole wallet. It doesn't skimp on functionality inside as well, with two slots for cards and a center section for larger items. You're able to pack up the 15 cards in this beauty and still have space for other essentials. This wallet is made to last and will only feel and look better the more you use it. Within the same pocket that's fairly flat but still spacious enough for a pair of glasses. My choice going to the toughest pair I own, the Distill Union Maglock Magnetic Sunglasses. It comes a matte black finish with a soft touch rubber coating. Structurally, it's stronger than I am, being able to resist bending, folding, and just any muscle I put into it. But the real value is what hides inside them, magnets. Not only for keeping everything in place when stored away, but it's also strong enough that it allows you to clip it wherever you want and actually stay in place through my rigorous scientific shake tests. These are the perfect sunglasses for those who, well, lose all their sunglasses. Let's take a second and talk sponsor because Skillshare is one of my favorite places to to level up my brain. Essentially, it's an online learning community that features thousands of classes that cover topics that are actually applicable to real life. Topics include creativity, business, video production, productivity, the list goes on and on for ways to improve your work and your life. They've got a premium membership that gives you unlimited access to all their classes hosted from experts in their respective fields. And the best part is it won't put you in student debt with an annual membership costing you less than $10 a month. That's like two fancy coffees. <sighs> When I first started my YouTube channel, one of the first classes I ever took was from Maddie Brown on low budget filmmaking. Forget about all that fancy gear, Maddie shows you unique and fun ways of creating effects in camera, like a shutter effect with your fingers. It's a free effect anyone can do, and if you lose two of them, you've got eight more. Anyways, they're offering two months of Skillshare Premium for free with the first link in the description down below. So let's get back to the black on black on black. Sealing up the pocket and moving below that, there's two straps that allow you to hold larger items, like the most convenient tripod you'll ever own, the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Starting with the quick setup, unclipping and unleashing its legs and a few swift motions, then the adjustable head with a quick twist to adjust and a twist to lock. And finally, my favorite, the built-in phone holder hidden inside the stem of the tripod, so you'll always have one handy with you for those hashtag shot on iPhone moments. This tripod is all about being efficient and intuitive. You're not busy trying to get it to work properly. It's a tool that doesn't get in the way of actually doing what counts, capturing the moment. And when you're done, it packs down into a space saving tube like shape that I can easily grasp onto with one hand. Now the bottom is lined with a durable nylon like waterproof material so it can withstand whatever you throw at it or wherever you throw it at. But it's not exclusive to the bottom as the whole bag is built on that same material making it one of the most durable bags you'll ever come by. So moving inside, the zipper wraps around the whole bag, allowing you to fully open the front cover, where you'll find quite a bit of organizational options inside. Starting in one of the sleeve pockets, this single piece of all black metal is a dangle hook. It's shaped like a C and built 
like, well, a solid piece of metal, something you can count on to not fall apart on you. Because aside from the built-in bottle opener, because why not, and the hole cutout for the keychain carry, this piece of gear is designed to hang around. And the best part is, setup is as easy as this. Yeah, the bottom of your bag thanks you for saving it from those grimy floors. In that same pocket, my tool of choice for this theme, the CRKT Guppy. A cute name for a set of tools that's built into a carabiner. You honestly would have never known it was possible to pack so much into a central a clip. Plus, you can't deny how badass the all black finish looks on this. So, starting off with a rather sharp knife, it's two inches in length and made of two CR13 steel, with the whole carabiner doubling as a comfortable handle. Then there's the built in adjustable wrench. I bet you never saw that coming. With a maximum opening of half an inch, it'll fit over nuts for light and quick repairs. And finally, this detachable flashlight that doubles as a bit holster. Pop it out to use in a dedicated bit slot on the bottom for an on the go toolkit with the flashlight as a just in case. It's a set of tools that can handle a little more than a regular multi-tool can but don't forget what this is in the end though a carabiner which makes carrying this whole setup around a breeze Moving along, the center sleeve is secured in with the Velcro strap, and inside I've got the Black Power Beats Pro from Beats. With a clunky and pretty large carrying case, although I do dig the soft matte finish and the convenience of a lightning charging port though, it's really what's stored inside that counts here. Anyone who's familiar with the Power Beats line, this is basically the same as previous generations, minus the wire connecting the two. I will admit that I can't deny how sleek these look in an all black though, with volume buttons on top and a play, pause, and forward rewind button built into the logo, these are pretty Pretty simple, and that's the beauty of them, especially with the new H1 chip that makes pairing with iOS devices as easy as this. Literally just bringing them close together, it's that simple. In use, the earphones secure these in place and make these the perfect active wireless earphones. Plus, they actually sound decent, so I can enjoy my T-Swift while PRing on the squat rack. In the last sleeve, I've got a simple black clip with a deck of minimum playing cards inside. So checking out this piece of folded aluminum alloy, it's shaped to the size of a regular deck of playing cards, and it's designed to keep whatever deck it's holding from bangs and scratches. It's definitely an excessive level of protection for playing cards, but for those who like to keep their gear in tip-top shape, this is for you. Now my blackout deck of choice though, these are the minimum playing cards, and as the name suggests, they're as minimal as they get. With only icons on the corners and a strike-through design around back, this is one of the cleanest blackout deck of playing cards available. And to top it off, the whole deck is made of plastic, which means cards are much more durable, they stay straight longer, and can actually be cleaned from all your hand sweat you produce doing tricks like this. Now this bag does feature a large laptop compartment along the backside. It's padded throughout for an extra level of protection and comfort for your laptop, and it's even got its own dedicated zipper to access the gear inside. But moving to the bottom of a pocket is a netted pocket, great for larger loose items, like the new 8-bit do SM30 Pro Plus wireless gaming controller that comes in this awesome ninja all black finish. Now I mainly use it on my Nintendo Switch, but it's capable of being utilized on a Windows, Mac, or Android device too. It's got very clicky and responsive buttons, a six axis motion sensor, and even adjustable hair triggers on the backside for full personalization. It runs on a 1000 milliamp removable battery and I've yet to need to charge it, but it's just the overall blacked out design, even with the letter detailing that makes this the ultimate blackout controller accessory. Shared in that same pocket, this is the Anchor PowerCore 10,000 PD, and like any Anchor battery, they just look and feel like a well-built product you can trust. This model has a matte black finish with a slight pattern texture around the front. It's all packed in with no loose pieces that you feel like are going to fall apart when it takes a beating and for a 10,000 milliamp battery this is one of the physically smallest i own what makes it useful though are these outputs the usb c pd port specifically outputting at 18 watts and even the usb a at 10 watts these are much faster speeds than any battery this size and can even handle charging an ipad pro but being able to charge another device simultaneously makes this the only battery you need in your bag or better yet thanks to its tiny size your pocket too now moving along to the front cover it's almost identical to what we just saw with the of sleeves to start us off. These ones though being closed off with a small velcro strap. Inside my favorite blanket on the go, this is the Matador pocket blanket. When folded up, it's truly really small, also fitting inside the palm of my hands too. But when unraveled, it stretches five and a quarter by just under four feet, which is fairly large considering it started at the size of my hand. And it's all thanks to this very thin ripstop nylon material that's waterproof, rip resistant, and it's even got metal pegs inside each corner to tie this feather of a blanket down to the ground. When you're done your lonely picnic 
for one, there are sewn in lines that help you guide how to fold it back into its slim and minimal form. And true to its name, it fits inside an actual pocket and doubling as some mildly uncomfortable butt padding. Moving along, the center sleeve stores probably the blackest of all items, a stack of black post-it notes. And if you didn't think post-its came in black, well, you're not alone. They're exactly as you imagine them, but in all black. So to test them out, our blackout pen of choice, the James brand Benton, a fairly pricey pen, but for anyone that can appreciate some fine craftsmanship, they focused on every detail in the stainless steel design and the pen just works. Now I don't recommend black ink on black paper unless you're some sort of ninja, then this should be the only way you communicate with others. The bag can accommodate several pens in the large pen sleeves, but moving below that, another mesh pocket and I've got the all black vapor eclipse water bottle in the one liter capacity. The magic of course is how it works when not in use, but unraveling it, you can see the light plastic design allows it to be easily manipulated and it works like any regular water bottle. Pour your liquid in and it takes full form, expanding the base and even allowing it to stand on its own. It's got a spout cover that locks in tightly with friction, plus that carabiner ensures you stay hydrated even when there isn't a dedicated water bottle pocket. Of course, the real takeaway is how the bottle doesn't take up any space when you're all said and done. Rolling up and having the carabiner keep everything compact, you can quench your thirst without sacrificing all that extra space. And that's my blackout gear in my blackout bag of choice, which offers much more than I'm able to cover, most notably just how waterproof this whole bag is, but also the modular handles on the sides and top of the bag that can be removed for a cleaner look and also swapped for other accessory needs sold separately. There's the back panel that's fully covered with cushioning for the long hauls and combine that with the well padded shoulder straps, it's like memory foam built in. There's even a hidden pocket along the backside that's great when traveling for passports and cash and the shoulder straps are removable too that keeps them from dangling around when you want to go handheld. The bag is just jam packed with functionality inside and out and it's built to last thanks to the all around 800 denier three layer micro hex, which even just sounds super technical and sophisticated to even say. So for those who wanna go full stealth, I hope this helps you find some useful additions for your blackout collection. Don't forget two months of Skillshare premium for free with the first link in the description box, all the blackout gear I mentioned below that. And let me know in the comment section what theme you'd like to see next for a what's in my bag. I rest my bag.